Hello, greetings! Uh, let's take a look at our first example from week three, and this is our continuation of chapter two on applications of linear programming problems. Uh, so the problem states, uh, Ozark Farms uses at least 800 pounds of special feed daily. The special feed is a mixture of corn and soybean meal with the following compositions. Okay, so the compositions are given in the table below. The dietary requirements of the special feed are at least 30% protein and at most 5% fiber. The goal is to determine the daily minimum cost feed mix. And we're asked to formulate a linear programming problem and then solve. And so in this first screencast, we'll set up the linear programming problem and then we'll solve in a, a separate screencast using uh, Microsoft Excel. Okay, and so we're uh, told that the minimum cost of the feed mix uh, is that, and we're even given the breakdown of uh, corn and soybean meal. So let's do it. Okay, so let's set up our linear programming problem um, in this screencast. Okay, so let's start by, let's let our variables um, x1 uh, be uh, corn, okay, so that'll be the amount of corn uh, in pounds. And let's let x2 be equal to the amount of soybean meal. And that's also in pounds. Okay. And so our objective or our goal, so our goal slash objective is going to be to, to minimize the cost of our feed. Okay. And so we're going to let Z be the cost of our feed. Okay. So the cost of our feed Z is going to be equal to the cost per pound of each feed type times the amount of each feed type in our feed. Okay. So what I mean by that is Z will be equal to, okay. So the cost in dollars per pound of corn, okay, is 0 0.3, okay, so it's going to be that cost in dollars per pound um, of corn times x1, where x1 is the pounds of corn used, plus, we'll do the same thing for soybean meal, 0 0.9 times x2, okay, and so we want to minimize this, okay, so we're going to minimize this, that's our objective function. And next, let's look at our constraints. Okay, so first constraint, or I guess, uh, first constraint, let's look at this. So Ozark Farms uses at least 800 pounds of special feed daily. Okay, so if our feed consists of X1 pounds of corn and X2 pounds of soybean, and we need at least 800 pounds of special feed, well, what that tells us then, okay, so if I write my constraints, Okay, so the first being that I need at least 800 pounds of um, feed, that tells me that X1 plus X2, okay, this is pounds of corn and pounds of soybean meal being mixed to form my feed, okay, so that needs to be greater than or equal to 800, okay, because I need at least 800 pounds of the special feed. And so the sum of the amount of corn and soybean used has to be greater than or equal to 800. Okay, so that's constraint one. Uh, constraint two, so if you look at our comp composition, the dietary requirements for the special feed are at least 30% protein and at most 5% fiber. Okay, so at least, let's start with protein. So at least 30% of our feed needs to be protein. All right, so in terms of, you know, composition here, we're told pounds per pound of feed stuff. So pounds per pound of feed stuff. So um, let's, let's break it up. So let's calculate. So let's calculate um, protein. Um, and that'll be pounds of protein in feed. Okay, so the pounds of protein in feed, okay, so here we're given, you know, pounds of, 
uh, protein per pound of feedstuff, okay, where X1 corresponds to the pounds of corn used in our feed, X2 is the pounds of soybean used. Okay, so the pounds of protein in our feed, okay, would be, okay, so 0 0.09 pounds per pound of feedstuff in corn, and 0.6 pounds per um, <laughs> pound of feedstuff in my soybean meal. Okay, so the total protein I have would be 0 0.09. times x1 okay and then um, plus 0 0.06 oh, 0 0.60 times x2 okay so the way I read this is so this is pounds per pound of feedstuff so when I multiply by the pounds of each feedstuff used that tells me then the pounds of uh, protein uh, essentially in my mix. Okay. Um, and we're told that we want our feed to be at least 30% protein. Okay. So how I would interpret that is, is, so that's pounds of protein. So if I divide that by the total pounds of feed stuff, okay, that needs to be at least 30% protein. Okay, so this would need to be at least 30%. Okay, so therefore, okay, it has, I'm going to rewrite it as 0 0.09 x1 plus 0 0.60 x2 is going to be greater than or equal to 0 0.3 times x1 plus x2. All right, and if you wanted to, you could simplify, um, you could distribute this through, uh, and then collect terms. Okay, but I'm just going to leave it as such. That way, it's clear what exactly it means. Okay, then likewise, we need to do the same thing for fiber, where here we want at most 5% fiber. Okay, so now let's repeat for fiber. Okay. Um, and rather than the right as this, I'll just you know automatically multiply by x1 times x2. So uh, the percent fiber constraint would be um, so 0 0.02 times x1, 0 0.06 times x2. So we're going to have 0 0.02 times x1 plus 0 0.06 x2. 0, 0.02 and 0, 0.06. Okay, and that's going to be at most. So we're at most 5% um, fiber. And so that's going to be less than or equal to 0 0.05, right? 5% 5 times x1 plus x2. Okay, so our constraints being uh, that we need um, at least 800 pounds of food, um, at least 30% by weight needs to be protein, no more than 5% by weight uh, fiber. And then the very last constraint we'll have um, is we're talking about, you know, pounds of corn and soybean meal that we're mixing. Um, and so we'll have to use our non-negativity constraint. Um, so the, you know, amount of corn and soybean meal needs to be greater than or equal to zero. Okay, so our last one will be our non-negativity constraint. Okay. And so that's just going to be x1 will be greater than or equal to 0, and x2 will be greater than or equal to 0. Okay, so to, um, you know, write this as our final linear programming problem, okay, our objective is going to be um, to minimize z is equal to 0.3x1. Plus... Nah, 0 0.9x2 that'll be subject to the constraints that x1 plus x2 is greater than or equal to 800 okay. uh, protein constraint uh, 0 0.09x1, uh, too bad I can't get it all on one page, <laughs> 0 
0 0.09 x1 plus 0 0.6 x2 needs to be greater than or equal to uh, 0 0.3. There's x1 plus x2. And then we have 0 0.02. x1 plus 0 0.06 x2 has to be less than or equal to 0 0.05 x1 plus x2. Okay, just check to make sure I have that right. And then our non-negativity constraint, okay, x1 is greater than or equal to 0, and x2 is greater than or equal to 0. Okay, so there's our linear programming problem for our first example. And in our next screencast, we'll go ahead and, and solve this um, using Excel. Okay, hopefully that helps.